Today, honestly, I don't feel like going to exercise, but I will. Because the future is not gonna ask me if I felt well or if I felt like exercising at all. I'm gonna go. See how steep that is? You can't even see over there. But we're going to. Uh... I'm generally so exhausted, but I'm not gonna stop. Let's go. I'm tired. I'm exhausted, but hey, I finished my miles. So our Manhattan meeting was postponed. Now we're just going with the flow. Hey guys, welcome to my second vlog second vlog officially I'm very excited today I want to say a quick I want to say a quick thought get to work there's nothing if you're going through a heartbreak or a difficult situation there's nothing that's gonna help expedite that heal faster than time time you need time all right that's the truth and there is no greater medicine than getting to work better than drinking your, the night away better than you know doing anything else is getting to work because time is still passing by whether you're going through hardship or not so you're gonna kick yourself in the butt if you don't get to work later on especially in the moments that you don't feel like going to work and you don't feel like working out or you don't feel like putting forth the effort now is the time specifically to do it because I really believe that everyone has a purpose in life and I'm not talking about some mystical purpose where you reach a certain age level age level or financial status or relationship status or you have kids all of that just comes with it but your purpose happens every single day with every person you meet with every action you take that's your purpose. That specific day today, your purpose might have been to be nice to someone or to tell someone the truth even though it hurts in a nice way. The fact of the matter is that you have to get to work. There's no substitute for time. There's no substitute for hard work. So I'm just going to leave you with this quote really quick. The Bible says that the Bible says that God created the dark and the light and he called it night and day. And it says it in that specific order for a reason, because the day always comes after the darkest part of the night. And I'm not saying that the darkest part of the night may not last a while, because it may. I'm not saying healing is gonna come the way we want it to come, or in the moment we want it to come, but it'll come. So in that meantime, get to work, do what you have to do. do, what you have to do. It's, like, it's like almost the future you allowed you to watch this video today. And it's saying, hey, get to work. No excuses, no, no pity on yourself, just get to work. Wait, with this, wait, with this, I'm not saying that you're not going to go through hardship. And I'm not saying that I'm not putting your feelings down. I'm not at all. I'm just saying that if you're going to feel them anyways, why not do something productive while you feel it? Do you get what I'm saying? Because the only one you owe something to is you, not your parents, not your spouse, no one, it's you. Do this for you. Oh, and no matter what, never fret on your convictions. If you believe that you're gonna get somewhere, keep going. Because 
a letdown or a momentary failure will not define you for the rest of your life. Get up, dust it off, have breakfast, and go. Whatever your morning ritual is, whether you get up and pray or do whatever, get up, get up. Take a shower, eat, pray, go. Thank you, God bless you, have a good night. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe here. Give a big thumbs up. And please, if this touched your life, share it. Share it. As many share people it. as you can. Hey, hey, everyone. So.